Hey guys, it's Chris here on Halo Follower, and yesterday two new trailers released for Halo 5 Guardians as an advertisement to pre-order Halo 5 at your local GameStop. One was 30 seconds and the other was 60 seconds, and today we're going to take a look at the extended one and really flesh out what we saw, including the Arbiter at one point. So the first thing we see is a Banshee's Assault on a Pelican. The Banshee looks a little bit different than recent iterations, I have to say. However, what caught everyone's eye was the interesting designs on it. Could this Banshee belong to the Storm Faction, or perhaps an entirely new faction? Well, the Pelican crashes, then Agent Locke is seen in a different Pelican somewhere else. He grabs his battle rifle, which could be symbolic for picking loadouts. He is seen then dropping into this landscape, into this city. It makes me wonder, what if this is based off of a mission, or how Agent Locke is dispatched into missions? Maybe every mission with Agent Locke he is dropped into battle like this after picking a loadout. Anywho, like I said in my last video, this is most likely Singelios, the home planet of the Singeli, aka the Elites. Regardless of where this is, it's believed that we have seen it multiple times from art to the E3 trailer and even some cover art. Wherever Locke is, this place definitely holds some importance to Halo 5. Now we see Locke crashes into this building and so far and throughout the trailers, both versions, he is supercharged. He isn't acting like a normal Spartan. He is going way faster. Now we know Spartans are badass by default, but Agent Locke seems to be going super fast and super quick and it just it's almost too hard to follow that's why we need breakdowns like this so what does this possibly mean could it just be an effect to make the trailer look more amped up to advertise better to make it make halo 5 seem more exciting than it really is because no one would be able to follow along without having a stroke of it being that fast could it be that or could it be an actual ability or something that you obtain in Halo 5's campaign at the very least, a supercharge which makes all your abilities go super fast, your sprint is super fast, you can crash through things, potentially. Anyways, he sprints and slams through the other side and lands on the Banshee. Why this trailer seems very cool, we can't quite tell what it might be hinting at. Like I said a moment ago, is it just an effect for the viewers or is it hinting at something? So take this with a grain of salt, but it's possible that we have a lock on boarding, which basically means that maybe if you look at a banshee, it locks on and then you can thrust towards it and board it or for any vehicle for that matter. Anyways, that's just some speculation I came up with. He crashes the Banshee and lands like in the ground pound position. The Banshee takes off, he sprints, and actually slams into it, much like another ability in Halo 5, Spartan Charge. At first I thought he kicked it, but no, he slammed into it like a charge. Needless to say, the Banshee goes down. Locke uses another ability, which if you remember, helps Spartans up on ledges. Right now, it looks like Agent Locke is a bit juiced up, and like I said previously, it could just be an effect for the trailer itself, or maybe a special ability or something that we obtain in the game. But it looks like his clamber is much more effective. Maybe this is just for campaign. We actually see his armor, which is quite obviously a skin for the GameStop pre-order, but very cool looking. Perhaps there's some meaning behind it though. Once he climbs up on the edge, he uses his Pfizer mode thing that we were talking about last time. This appears to highlight enemies much like the Halo 3 ODST visor. This could suggest some dark areas needing such an ability. He also has 14 grenades, from the looks of it too. Locke leaps and does a ground pound, and this ground pound, it just looks big. The radius is just enormous. Now this could be because he saw a grenade rolling and decided to do a ground pound on the grenade, thus flattening the grenade and explosion and causing sort of like a bubble explosion effect around him. Now that's just some speculation, but there was a frame of a grenade and it looked like Agent Locke had his eye on it and did the ground pound on it. But again, just speculation. In the background for a split second, we actually see the Arbiter with his energy sword almost frozen in combat. 
This suggests what we've seen before, such as in the Halo 2 anniversary, beginning and ending, we see the Arbiter and Locke working together, or at least to some point. Locke uses Spartan Charge again, crashing into a squad of Jackals. This ghost here looks very different, I have to say, and Locke brings it down with one shot. Perhaps there is a weak spot on the ghost now, or maybe just a certain new kind. Again, Locke climbs onto a very tall structure with what looks like a jetpack and the clambering ability. And then we see something we haven't seen for a while in Halo, evade, the evade ability. This is something that Locke does as he does a forward roll, sticking the elite with a plasma grenade. Locke is then seen on a cliff top doing nothing else but looking like a super badass after everything he just did. The announcer says, sometimes you're the predator and sometimes you're the prey. So very interesting stuff right there. Obviously, Agent Locke is going to be the predator and most people are saying and understandably suggesting that Master Chief is probably going to be the prey, that he is going to be the hunted and that Agent Locke is the hunter. We've even seen that on the official xbox.com store, so I don't even know what I'm saying. It's pretty much official right there. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like this video up if you ended up enjoying and be sure to subscribe here on Halo Follower for plenty more of your Halo news and entertainment. Catch you guys in the next one and peace out.